Hello. Today I'm going to show you a, another resource for finding lesson plans. So as busy educators, we all need a little leg up in things and to be able to find ideas or fully develop lesson plans certainly is an advantage. So we're going to look at Math for America and the URL is up here simply is www.mathforamerica.org and there's a whole lot of other stuff that's going on with Math for America. Today we're just going to concern ourselves with teacher resources as you see up here. So we're going to click that on and we're going to look at teacher resources for the classroom. So this takes us here to this page and we can see that there's a whole bunch of other information that we can use, other resources. Come back and take a look at this, peruse when you have some time and see if there's stuff you can use. For today, let's take a look at lesson plans and activities. We get a lot of different links, okay? So some of them we're familiar with, maybe the Learning Network, I showed you one on the Learning Network. Um, other ones you might not be too familiar with. So we're going to go and look at Math for America lesson plans. It takes us to this another website. I know there's a lot of clicking. So what you might want to do is uh, bookmark this website so you can go directly to here instead of through all those clicks. Well, already on this site, we can see that it is divided into different areas of content. Right now, for today, we're going to look at number systems. So using our handy little search bar, I'm going to search for number systems. Let's see what comes up. A lot, <laughs> right? So if we scroll down, we can see there's a lot to navigate through. And all the way down here, there's 219 pages of lesson plans. It's probably going to take us a while to get through. So I'm going to try to filter it a little bit up here. So let's see what education level. I'm going to go for grades 11 through 12. The language, English of course. Um, readings and reviews. Hmm, I like that. Let's see what is top rated. Why? Why would we want anything that's that's bottom rated? You could also search by different media type, but I'm going to keep my options open, so I'm going to go for any. And then again, there's also different instructional types, and I want to see everything that they have. So I'm going to, that's all I'm going to filter, and I'm going to search. All right, so we do get a lot back. We've narrowed it down, though, to about 16 pages. And of course, we can narrow it down a little bit more if we like. So I can start looking through all of this information and it just kind of pops up if we go over it, right? And I like here that we have the Curriki Review, which is an exemplary re resource, and it also has a lot of positive member rating feedback. This is something I, I want to take a look at. So I'm going to click that on, and immediately it's going to take us to the part of uh, the lesson that I could use, which is a video, but I want to have a little bit more information about that first. So I'm going to go into information and I'm going to see what is it telling me? Okay, the description, what is the component type? Well, it's a video, right? Uh, similar to, I guess, what this uh, screencast is. And it actually covers quite a few different educational levels. Let's see the standards. Is there any standards? Not aligned just yet. I might have to do that myself. Bummer. And let's look at the comments. So there's 21 comments and the stars are out. Okay, so pretty nice stuff. This also will help me navigate if I want to use this or not. Um, I thought your video was very informative. I learned a lot. Okay, so you know, this might be something that you want to use, right? Um, I'm going back again and seeing, is there anything else? I see a lot of different ideas. Um, this again is giving us the topic, um, an exemplary, has the stars. So I won't bore you with going over and over this. You can, you can kind of get the gist of it, right? So 
one more avenue to use in finding resources and lesson plans uh, for your classes. I think you can see this is very robust. If you go back to the Math for America page, there's even more links to go to. But just narrow it down this first time through and take a look at what's under here in the curriculum part. Um, and maybe you'll find something that you can use in your class. Okay, hope this was helpful. Until next time.